today we will study about the straight line and the point in the xy plane the graph of this equation ax is equal to b is always a straight line in the xy plane which is the linear equation this equation is called the linear equation and it is always a straight line for different values of x we will obtain different values of y where a and b are constant and we can generate many points uh, for uh, that straight line let's see this is the x y plane this is the line horizontal line and vertical lines are shown this is x axis and this is y axis and this zero is the origin this is called the xy plane now we trace a point on xy plane p is a point which may occur at any place in the plane it will have two coordinates ordinate and abscissa a b a will be the length of the point from the origin on x axis and b is for y axis and then the point may be drawn on the xy plane with the help of ab to express any point in the xy plane we need two values a and b otherwise we will not be able to find the point p here are some points drawn on the x y plane you can observe these all points are drawn here to understand the x y plane and the points on the x y plane this is the origin and it has coordinates 0 0 while if you will remain on the x axis your y coordinate will always will be 0 and on the other hand if your point is on the y axis your x coordinate is always 0 just like these two points Let's solve an example. We draw some points. Here A is equal to 3 and B is 2. We have to plot some points A, B, B, A, minus A, B, A, minus B, and minus A, minus B. And we will observe that these points are not the same. These are the different points and similarly these are also the different points first we find the values of these points a b will be 3 2 b a will be 2 3 and similarly the other points are mentioned here now we will draw these points on the graph let's see 3 2 you will go on x axis up to 3 units and y axis on 2 units then you will trace your point 3 2 which lies here and if you want to plot this point 2 3 you have to move on x axis on 2 units and on y axis on 3 units then you will trace this point and similarly the other points are drawn in the expert plane yes this is the 
straight line P2 to P1. And if you want to find the length of this line, which is P1, P2 or P2, P1, uh, you can find it with by this relation. You have two points P1, which have the coordinates x1, y1, and P2 as the coordinate x2, y2. You need this length, and how this length can be calculated. This is the difference between x1 minus x2. This is the length of x1 minus x2. And now you have to calculate this thing while we have y1 and y2. And this is the difference of y1 and y2. Now we know about the Pythagorean's law. And using the Pythagorean's law, we can find P1, P2, which is the length of a line from a point P1 to P2 or P2 to P1. And the distance formula is shown here. Square root of x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square where p1 has the coordinates x1 y1 and p2 has the coordinates x2 y2 and using this formula we can find the distance from p1 to p2 which is denoted as the p1 p2